Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Just washed my hair and I'm going to show you guys how I do my low bun, high bun. First I'm using some water to re-dampen my hair and I'm going to go on with some Cantu Shea Butter. And I'm just going to run that through each section. Sorry, my voice sounds mad really deep right now. I'm so tired. But I'm running that through each section and um, yeah, I'm just trying to get that through every strand evenly i use leave-in conditioner and got to be no i'm lying i use leave-in conditioner and eco styling gel so i'm detangling with my demon brush which is the best brush you guys if you have natural hair it runs right through your hair here i'm using my eco styler the green jar the green eco styler it's my favorite and i'm just adding this to define my curls and also keep my hair slick like I want it and yeah so I just add a generous amount you guys like I swear my hair sometimes is soaking wet from water conditioner and leaving water conditioner and eco styler gel so now I'm just brushing that back through not only to make sure all of the product gets through every strand evenly but just to kind of like flatten it down to the the level that I want the bun to be because I want it to be a low bun so if I don't pull it brush it all the way back it might be a high bun and so here you guys see me adding some more gel to the back of my hairs because that's where my hair gets the most frizzy and now I'm just going to use a hard brush you guys I will let you guys know that a hard brush works better than your soft brush if you don't have a hard brush at home stop watching this video and go to your local beauty supply store and get yourself a hard brush because Girl, it ain't gonna work without it. So now I'm just um, jamming to some music and talking to my sister on the phone. And I am adding my first section into the low bun. You can see those waves. Eww. Okay, so repeating that same step to finish off this side. I'm just adding more Eco Salad Gel. And I'm taking my brush and I am just slicking all of that back, you guys. So you guys will soon see that I add extra gel and water to the ends of my hair. I notice over time that whenever I try this style that my hair ends up frizzy throughout the day and that's because I don't add enough gel at the ends and the ends will poke out through your hair and it'll start to mess up the form of your bun. Check out that curl pattern. Yes, girl, I am loving my curls. To make for a faster process, I use this clip to hold that piece down so I don't have to put it into a ponytail right away. So that way I can add more hair to this pretty little clip I got from the hair supply store.
So take that rubber band that comes with the hair and wrap it around your bun as tight as you want. Here I'm adding some water to that hair. You guys, I tried it with the hair dry and it did not work for me at all. So I noticed trying it damp works so much better. Did it make it more wavy? No, but um, it definitely works better. So here I'm just hiding my real hair underneath this hair by pulling some of that fake hair over my bun. Some of it's peeking up, but it's okay. And it's going to blend perfectly. Just twist as tight as you want and just wrap as many times as you want, you guys, until you get the desired look you're going for. I like to twist mine as tight as I want, you guys, because I want it to look a lot more natural and I don't want the hairs to stick out of the bun. Now, if you want it to be more loose, uh oh, <laughs> if you want it to be more loose, then go ahead and just do what you guys want to do with your ponytail or your bun. It's totally your preference. This is just me showing you how I like to do my false buns.